So let's try this induction problem. Show by induction that 8 exponent n minus 3 exponent n is divisible by 5 for all positive integers n. Now to solve this problem, we first of all need to know what induction is all about. Mathematical induction is basically one of the techniques which can be used to prove a variety of mathematical statements which are formulated in terms of n, where n is a positive integer. So given a statement, say p of n, involving the natural number n, there are basically three steps that we need to go through. Now the first step is where we need to prove that the statement is true for the first term, that is when n is equal to 1, and we call this the base step. For step 2, we are going to assume that the statement is true for n equals k, where k is any positive integer, and we call this the induction hypothesis. Now in step 3, based on the hypothesis made in step 2, we are going to prove that the statement is true for n equals k plus 1. That is the next step, and we call this the induction step. Then we can make a statement that p of n is true for all positive integers n is greater or equal to 1. So basically these are the steps that we need to follow when we want to solve problems concerning mathematical induction. So having this in mind, let's try this problem. So given the statement 8 exponent n minus 3 exponent n is divisible by 5. Now what this primarily means is that when 8 exponent n minus 3 exponent n is divided by 5, then this is equal to some integer value, say L. Now we can simplify this as 8 exponent n minus 3 exponent n equals 5 times some integer value, L. For example, if we have the value 50, when 50 is divided by 5, then the result is equal to some integer value, say L, which is equal to 10. Now we can simplify this as 50 equals 5 times some integer value, say L. So this is exactly what we are talking about here. Now if we are able to prove this, then it means that the original statement 8 exponent n minus 3 exponent n is divisible by 5. Then we can conclude that p of n is true for all positive integers, n is greater or equal to 1. Now let's start off with the induction process. So for step 1, that is the base step, we need to prove that the statement is true for the first term, that is when n is equal to 1. So for n equals 1, we have p of 1. So at this point, we are going to substitute 1 in place of n in the original statement. So that is 8 exponent 1 minus 3 exponent 1. And that is equal to 8 minus 3. And that is equal to 5. Now since 5 is divisible by 5, we say that p of 1 is true because we have 5 and that is divisible by 5 we have an integer value say 1 therefore p of 1 is true now let's move on to step 2 that is where we are going to assume that the statement is true for n equals k where k is any positive integer so for step 2 We have p of k and then we are going to substitute k in place of n. So we have 8 exponent k minus 3 exponent k and we are assuming that this is equal to 5 times some integer value say m. Now at this point let's make 8 exponent k the subject. So we have 8 exponent k equals 5m 
and then we transpose this to the right hand side we have plus 3 exponent k now let's call this equation 1 now to step 3 that is where we are going to prove that the statement is true for the next term that is n equals k plus 1 so we have n equals k plus 1 so p of k plus 1 so that's going to be 8 exponent so we have 8 exponent k plus 1 minus 3 exponent k plus 1 equals 5 times some integer value say l at this point let's resolve the terms on the left hand side so on the left hand side we have 8 exponent k plus 1 minus 3 exponent k plus 1 so according to the laws of indices we can resolve this as 8 exponent k times 8 exponent 1 minus 3 exponent k times 3 exponent 1 now this is equal to 8 times 8 exponent k minus 3 times 3 exponent k now from equation 1 we have 8 exponent k equals 5m plus 3 exponent k so we are going to substitute this in here so that's going to be 8 times 5m plus 3 exponent k minus 3 times 3 exponent k now let's multiply 8 across so that becomes 40m plus 8 times 3 exponent k minus 3 times 3 exponent k so at this point we have like things so we can simplify that so that is equal to 40m 8 minus 3 is 5 so plus 5 times 3 exponent k now since we are to prove that the original statement is divisible by 5 we are going to factor out 5 so we factor out 5 so that we have 40m divided by 5 is 8m plus 5 times 3 exponent k divided by 5 is 3 exponent k so we have 5 into bracket 8m plus 3 exponent k now we are going to let l equals 8m plus 3 exponent k and since m and k are both integers it follows that l is also an integer in that case we have the left hand side to be 5 times l and that is equal to the right hand side so since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side then we can say that the expression 8 exponent k plus 1 minus 3 exponent k plus 1 is divisible by 5 hence the original equation 8 exponent n minus 3 exponent n is divisible by 5 for all positive integers n thus p of n is true for all positive integers n is greater or equal to 1 now we can test our solution by substituting any value of n into the original equation so let's assume that we have n equals 4 now if n is equal to 4 then from the original equation we have 8 exponent 4 minus 3 exponent 4 divided by 5 and this should be equal to some integer value say l now 8 exponent 4 is 4096 minus 3 exponent 4 is 81 so we divide by 5 and then we have l equals 
803. Therefore, P of n is true for all positive integers, n is greater or equal to 1. Now let's try the next problem. So for problem 2, show by induction that 9 exponents n plus 3 is divisible by 4 for all positive integers. So given the statement 9 exponents n plus 3 is divisible by 4, first of all we need to prove that the statement is true for the first term that is when n is equal to 1. So for step 1 we have when n equals 1, we have p of 1 that is 9 exponent 1 plus 3 and that is equal to 9 plus 3 equals 12. Now since 12 is divisible by 4, we say that p of 1 is true. So 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3, where we have 3 to be an integer. Now to the second step, we are going to assume that the statement is true for n equals k, where k is any positive integer. So we have p of k, and that is 9 exponent k plus 3 equals 4 times some integer value, say m. Now at this point, we are going to make 9 exponent k the subject. So we have 9 exponent k equals 4m. We transpose 3 to the right hand side. That becomes negative 3. We call this equation 1. Now to the last step, we are going to prove that the statement is true for the next term. That is when n is equal to k plus 1. So we have p of k plus 1. Now in place of n, we are going to substitute k plus 1. So we have 9 exponent k plus 1 plus 3 equals 4 times some integer value, say l. Now let's expand this. So that's going to be 9 exponent k times 9 exponent 1 plus 3 equals 4l. Now let's resolve the left hand side. So for the left hand side, we have 9 times 9 exponent k plus 3. And that is equal to 9 exponent k from equation 1 is 4m minus 3. So we have 9 times 4m minus 3 plus 3. Let's multiply 9 across. So that becomes 36m minus 27 plus 3. And we can simplify this as 36m minus 24. Now since the original statement is divisible by 4, we are going to factor out 4. So we have this simplified as we factor out 4. 36m divided by 4, we have 9m minus 24 divided by 4 is 6. At this point, we are going to let L equals 9m minus 6. Simply because since m is an integer, it follows that L is also an integer. Therefore, we have the left hand side to be 4 times L. Now since the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, that is 4L equals 4L, we say that the expression 9 exponent k plus 1 plus 3 is divisible by 4. Hence the original statement 9 exponent n plus 3 is divisible by 4 for all positive integers n. Thus, p of n is true for all positive for all positive integers 
n is greater or equal to 1. Now let's test our solution by substituting in any value of n. So let's assume n to be equal to 5. So if n is equal to 5, we have from the original statement 9 exponent n plus 3 divided by 4 should be equal to some integer value l. Therefore, we have this to be equal to 9 exponent 5 plus 3 divided by 4. 9 exponent 5 is equal to 59,049. We have this plus 3 all divided by 4. And then we have L to be equal to 14,763.